with another dog gan square. This time it is the pom pom pomeranian. So what you need is you're going to need white, black, yellow ochre, raw sienna, and purple. I didn't have the exact colors, but I had this really nice sort of um, goldeny yellow color. So I'm using that as the yellow ochre. And as far as the raw sienna, I'm using one that's kind of like a burnt orange. So it's it should turn out looking pretty nice. All right. So get your bobbins ready and let's go ahead and get started. OK, so if you are following by the graph, then what you're going to want to do is start going this direction. So for the row one, you'll go this way, then you'll flip and then you're going to go back up this way for row two. Row three, you'll go back down that way. Row four, you'll go up this way and so forth. Uh, if you're not using the graph and you're using the, the pattern here, then we're, it will tell you exactly what you need to do each row and which uh, letter coincides with the color that you need. Okay, so if I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Row one is one purple square. So go ahead and get your purple bobbin. You're going to start with a slip knot on your crochet hook. Make sure you have the hook size H. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our slip knot on there. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and chain five with your working yarn. One, two, yarn over, pull through, that's three, four, and five. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So there's one, two, three. So go ahead and yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over from the back, pull forward. That's three loops. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over again, and pull through the last two. That's how you do a double crochet. Do that two more times to finish off the first square. Okay, so yarn over go through, yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over again, pull through two stitches, yarn over again, and pull through the last two loops, okay? Now go ahead and tighten your uh, tail yarn here, and that is your first row, your first square of the corner to corner uh, chart. So row two, you're keeping on with the same color purple. So what we need to do is start building up the next row. We are in the increasing side of the square. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and chain five again, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now go ahead and do the same as you did before. We're gonna do three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay, so there's one. Yarn over, go into the stitch. Yarn over from the back, pull forward, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again, pull through the last two. One more time. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so now that's two squares. They look like a pair of pants. That's what I always say in my videos. <laughs> um, so what you wanna do is the yarn, uh, the square, excuse me, that has the tail, you wanna flip up, okay, towards your hook. That way you're right next to where your hook is, okay? You wanna go ahead and go in through the front to that wiggle space, I call it, into the back, yarn over from the back, pull through and then pull through that stitch. That's creating a slip stitch in order to connect the squares. Now you need to build up so that you can so that you can continue on with another square. So you're going to do a chain two. Now do three double crochets in that wiggle space. Okay? So there's one. There's two. And there is three. Okay? So now we have Okay? So now we have two rows. This is the first row is just one square. Second row is two squares. Now we're going to go ahead and build up the third row. Okay, so the third row is also three purple squares. So we're going to go ahead again, chain five, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And in the last two chains. Okay. Now, again, you've made your pants, flip the, one, the left side up. Now go ahead and go with your hook into the wiggle space, yarn over from the back and pull through both loops so that way you've done your slip stitch. Chain two, double crochet three times in your little wiggle space there. 
Okay, now we need to keep building up that step, right? So let's go up into this next one. Again, in from the front to the back, yarn over and pull through to connect, chain two, three double crochets in that same space, two, three, Okay, that gives us our first three rows. Now, if you look at it, you've got one here, one, two there, and one, two, three there, okay? So we've done three rows. We're gonna go ahead and start row four. Row four is also four purple squares. So this one's nice and easy so far, okay? So five chain, so there's three, four, five. Okay, we need to do three double crochets again, starting in the third chain from the hook. By the end of this, you'll be a pro at doing double crochets. That is really all that corner to corner is, is doing a lot of double crochets. All right, so now you've got your, your uh, pants there. One side's longer now. Flip it up so that it's beside your hook and your working yarn. Now go ahead and go in from the front to the back since there's no collar change and do your slip stitch. Chain two, three double crochets in the same space that you did your slip stitch. Okay, oops. And then keep going up the ladder, okay? Do your slip stitch, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, again, we're gonna go up the ladder here, doing your slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets to finish off the row. Okay. Okay, here we have one, two, three, and four. We've done four rows. We're gonna go ahead and start with row five. Row five starts with a different color, okay? So you need to grab your bobbin that has your yellow ochre or whatever color you're using for that, for the main color on the Pomeranian, okay? Now, what I like to do if I'm color changing at the beginning of a new row is I pull out just the last part of the last double crochet, okay? That will give you two loops on your hook. If I can get it back on there, that'd be great. <laughs> Work with me. All right, here we go. So we've got two loops on the hook. Now we're gonna grab our new yarn. Make sure you have a nice tail for sewing in later. Okay, just create a loop over your finger, put it over your hook, and pull through those last two. Okay, so that's finishing off the last square and connecting your yarn. Drop your yellow tail. Now go ahead and chain five with your new color. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and then in the last two chains, just as you would have normally done when you're doing an increase. Okay, we are going to be flipping up. Okay, so go ahead and flip your work up. Now we are going to do, let's see, we're going to do four yellow squares, all right? So go ahead and go in from the front to the back. Go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect and your chain two, your three double crochets and keep climbing up the ladder. I will meet you back when we have done four yellow squares and we're going to switch back to purple. Okay. So we've done four yellow squares. We need to now go ahead and do one purple square. Since your purple yarn from before is so far down, I am going to go ahead and just snip it off. It will create a tail to sew in later. Okay, and we'll go ahead and now connect it back up here. So in order to do a color change in the middle of a row, you wanna go in from the back to the front, make your loop over your hook, pull in through the back and then through that last loop of the yellow, drop your tail, do your chain two as usual, and then go ahead and do three double crochets in that same space that you did your slip stitch to finish off this row, which is row five. Okay, so there's row five. It should have five squares along that ladder there. We're going to start row six. Row six is all yellow, okay? And as is row seven. So we're going to go ahead and again snip off the purple. We don't need it. We will sew it in later to secure. Okay, 
So we need to start with yellow on this row. So again, I'm going to pull out one of the loops. So now we have two loops on our hook back from the last square of the last row, okay? Now we need yellow and we're going to use it for the whole row. So what I'm going to do is I am going to carry the yellow from the back here. I'm going to go ahead and use that, okay, to finish this off. It looks not so good right now, right? It's got that line here in the back but we're going to go ahead and move it and work around it so you won't see it later, okay? So let's go ahead, do our chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook and in the last two chains. Whoops. Here we go. All right, here we go. And okay, now we're going to go ahead and flip our work up as before. There's that line right there. Okay, so now when we connect, you want to make sure that the hook goes under that line. Do you see that? Go underneath it. Also, go through that wiggle space from the front, yarn over from the back, and pull through. Okay, so what's that? What is that is doing is it's pulling the tail up. Okay, so that we can not have to see that line. All right, so go ahead and do your chain two, three double crochets around that length of yarn, so that way you, you are hiding it in the middle. You don't have to see it, okay? All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna finish off this row and then we'll be ready to flip it. So finish it off doing a total of six yellow squares. I'll meet you back at the end of the row, okay? So we've gone ahead and we have finished row six. We're going to go ahead and start row seven, and it is also all yellow, so we don't have to do any color changing. Go ahead and do your chain five, double crochet in the third chain from the hook, Then go ahead and do your double crochets in the last two chains. Okay, that finishes off that first square of the row, and then you flip, flip it up, okay? Go in from the front to the back and do your slip stitch, chain two, and your three double crochets in that same space that you did your slip stitch. Okay, finish off the row and I'll go ahead and meet you up at the end to do another increase and start the next row. Okay, I'm on the last square here of this row and the next row starts with purple. So I'm going to go ahead and do my yarn over, pull through the first two loops. I'm going to grab my purple yarn again. Okay, let it have a tail. Go ahead and have your loop over your hook and pull through the last two on that ending that square. Drop your tail, chain five. Okay, double crochet in the third chain from the hook, double crochet in the last two chains to finish off the square. Okay, make sure everything stays nice and tight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip it and flip it up. Okay, so this, this particular row is row eight. It says one purple square and then the rest are yellow. So what we want to do is we want to get our yellow bobbin here. Okay, you're going to pull the yarn towards the back, okay, hook from back to front, yarn over from the back, and then pull through to connect. Okay, it sort of creates this twist so that you can't see that color change, okay? So you see from front and back, you cannot see the color change. Um, that's what pulling the yarn from the front to the back does before you go ahead and do your slip stitch. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on with the yellow. Chain two, three double crochets in that same slip stitch space. And then go ahead and finish off this row with the yellow. I will meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so we've just finished doing row eight. Uh, and finished off with our seven yellow squares. Now we're going to go ahead and start row nine. Row nine starts with eight yellow squares and ends with one purple square, okay? So let's go ahead and do our chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook. 
and then in the last two chains and get ready to flip. Okay, so you're welcome to go ahead and start pinning your work using your bobbins if you'd like for doing the flip. We do only have two bobbins at this point, but it always helps to keep things untangled. Okay, so we've done our flip. We're going to go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets in the slip stitch space. And I'm curious, you guys, um, so I've done a cat gan, this is the dog gan, and I'm thinking on what else you'd like to have done into a corner-to-corner -corner crochet graph gan. So if you can leave in the comments below some of your ideas, um, that would be awesome. And then we can look into what we're going to do next after this one's done. All right. So go ahead and finish off with the yellow squares you want to do again. You want to do eight yellow squares, okay? So I'll meet you at the end of those eight. Okay, so we've done our eight yellow squares. Now we need to switch it over to purple. Okay, so grab your purple yarn. Make sure it's nice and tight. Pull the yarn to the back because we're right next door. So go ahead and pull the yarn to the back. Hook goes from back to front on that wiggle space, okay? Yarn over from the back and then pull through. Again, that creates a little twist along the inner area uh, or the inner side of that square so you can't see the color change. All right, so go ahead and do a chain two, your three double crochets in that same slip stitch space to finish off this row. Okay, all right, so we've gone ahead and we have finished off row nine. We are gonna start row 10. Row 10 is one purple square and the rest is yellow, okay? so. We're doing very basic color changing because there's a lot of big chunks of one color in this one, which is nice when you're new to this uh, technique of crocheting, all right? So let's do our chain five. All right, so we've just done our chain five. Let's do our double crochet in the third chain from the hook. And then in the last two chains, the same double crochet. Get ready to flip. Okay, so since it's just a two, I'm just going to switch them, the bobbins, I mean. Okay, so go ahead and flip up. All right, we only needed to do the one purple, so we're going to go ahead and switch to the yellow. All right, make sure nobody's tangled up. Pull the tails down from the other ones that you've snipped off, okay? So go ahead and go in from the back to the front, yarn over, and pull through to connect. Chain two with the yellow three double crochets in the slip stitch space and then go ahead and finish this row with yellow and I will meet you back at the end. Okay so we finished row 10 and now we're going to start row 11 and row 11 and 12 are all yellow okay so we can go ahead and snip off our purple bobbin leaving a tail to sew in later. Another tail! <laughs> Uh, I know you guys hate having tails <laughs> to sew in, and, and my charts do tend to have a lot, but a lot of corner-to-corner -corner charts do, so we do what we have to, right? All right, so I've done our chain five here. We'll do our double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and then in the last two chains. Okay, then we're going to flip our work up to start the row. Oops. Okay, so let's finish off this row using the yellow. And I'm actually going to let you go ahead and do the next row as well. I will meet you back at the end of row 12, and we will go ahead and start row 13. Okay, so we have finished with row 12. We're going to go ahead and start row 13, which starts with 12 yellow squares. So we're going to chain 5 and do 3 double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. And then we're going to get ready to flip our work so we can really start the row. Okay, flip, slip stitch in the next one to connect, chain two and three double crochets in that same space and then go ahead and finish doing the 12 yellows. I will meet you back for the color change. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished doing 
12 of the yellows, we need to go back to the purple. So grab your purple bobbin, give yourself a tail, go from back to front, get your loop over your hook and pull through all loops, tighten your yellow in the back, drop your tail, chain two, three single, or excuse me, three double crochets in that same space, and I always go around the tail that you have right there just to start securing it, and then we'll fasten it in later as we weave it, weave it through the work. Okay, so that finishes off this row. The next row, what we're going to do is we are going to start with purple, and then we're going to start doing more color changes than we're used to. So let's start with one purple. So do five chain here, double crochet in the third chain from the hook, and in the next two chains, do continue on doing your double crochets, and then get ready to flip. Okay, so I'm going to pin my yellow, flip the work, unpin the yellow. So now we're on row 14, so the next one that we need is R, which is raw sienna. Okay, so grab whatever you're using for raw sienna. Let yourself have a nice tail. Going in from back to front to do the color changes. Okay, now pull through the loop, tighten your purple, drop your tail, chain two, three double crochets around the tail, and then you're going to drop the tail to the back of the work. Okay. All right, so drop your tail to the back. Okay, so we're only doing one of the raw sienna. Now we're switching back to the yellow and finishing off the row with the yellow. So see, we are next door, so go ahead and pull your, yarn to, your, your working yellow yarn to the back. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and then pull through to connect. Make sure you tighten that orange so you're not having big gaps in between your squares. Chain two, three double crochets in that same space, and then go ahead and finish off this row with the yellow and we will meet up at the end. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've finished row 14. Okay, so we need to go ahead and start row 15, which starts with four yellow squares. So let's go ahead and do our chain five and our three double crochets in the third chain from the hook is where we'll start. My goodness, you guys, I think I need more coffee today. <laughs> I'm flubbing up on my words. <laughs> Here we go. Okay and we are going to get ready to flip. So go ahead, since we have more than just the two bobbins, I'm gonna make sure I pin my work. We don't want them to start tangling together when we do our flipping. Okay, so go ahead and do your flip. All right. Okay, now we need to go ahead and continue on with the yellow for another three more squares. So go ahead and connect with the slip stitch. Chain two three double crochets, and finish off doing those yellows. We will come back after that to do some white. Okay, so we've done four yellow squares. We need to switch to white. We're gonna start working on the eye of the puppy dog. So get yourself a tail. Okay, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tighten your yellow, drop your white tail, chain two with your working yarn, three double crochets, into that same space. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and switch back to the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and connect a new yellow, and I'll tell you why. Because this eye is going to be worked through several rows. So I don't want to be carrying the yellow through the eye. Just in case you see any of it, it's going to look make the eye look like it's split in half. I don't want that. So I'm going to connect a new yarn. So hook from back to front. Okay, yarn over, pull through, tighten your white, drop your tail, grab your working yarn, do your two chains, three double crochets around that tail to begin securing it. Okay, put the tail to the back. Okay. And we need to go ahead and do another seven more of the yellow squares. So I will meet you at the end of the seventh yellow square.
Okay, so I might have said to do seven yellows, but I actually meant to do eight since we are working on row 15. Row 15 ends with two of the raw sienna squares. So now that we're next door to the raw sienna, we're going to go ahead and pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, okay, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the yellow loop. Now tighten your yellow, chain two, and three double crochets. We are finishing this row with this color, so you can go ahead and snip off your purple yarn because we don't need it, and we won't need it for a little bit here. Okay, I'm doing the slip stitch to connect the chain two and the three double crochets to finish off this row. Then we're going to go ahead and do, let's see, okay, so we finished that row, and let's see what we need to do next one of the raw sienna, okay? So let's go ahead and chain five. Three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay. Oops, sometimes my yarn works with me, sometimes it doesn't. Let's go ahead and get ready to flip. So we need to pin our bobbins. That way they stay where they're supposed to. Okay, one more. All right, now go ahead and flip your work. You can unpin your bobbins and then also go ahead and pull your yarn tails towards the bottom so that they stay away from the row that you're working on. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this purple one off. Okay, there we go. Okay, so because the pattern has you going from the raw sienna to the yellow to the raw sienna to the yellow. I want to go ahead and grab another bobbin. I'm going to go hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through to the back, tighten your raw sienna down there, and go ahead and drop your tail, chain two, three double crochets around the tail, and then you'll put the tail to the back. Try to keep them out of your way. Okay, there we go. Now we need to switch back to raw sienna, okay? So what we need to do is we need to grab another raw sienna bobbin. Okay, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, drop your tail, do your chain two and three double crochets. This is when it starts getting important that you have something like the bobbin so that when you're doing your, your flippings, you have all these different colors in a row. And if you don't have them on bobbins, they easily get tangled. I have tried many different approaches to uh, having, it not get, having these yarns not get tangled, and this is the best one that I have found. If you guys have found anything else that works good, go ahead and put that in the comments below too so that others can try that as well. Okay, so we've done our first three squares. The next one, the next pattern part we're going to do is seven yellow squares, okay? So go ahead, since we're next door to each other, pull that yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through to connect. Okay, go ahead and do your chain two and your three double crochets. And then go ahead and finish doing those yellow squares um, and getting ready for the next color change. I'll meet you back at the end of the yellows. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we finished seven yellow squares. Okay, so set your yellow aside here. The next thing we need to do is one white square. So pick up your white, go ahead and go hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tighten your yellow, chain two, three double crochets in the same space that you did your slip stitch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the black. That'll do the pupil for this particular eye. All right, make sure your tails stay out of the way and down so that they're not getting and interfering in your work. Okay, so grab your black bobbin. Get your loop on your hook here. We're going to go back to front for connecting the color. Pull through to the back. Tighten that white. Drop your tail. Chain two and three double crochets. And you'll notice on this one, the reason I use that raw sienna color is to create the back leg 
since it would be in shadow and also to do the different parts that would have um, also been in shadow. So you can see that the tail is curled on Pomeranian, so I wanted that to be visible, but I didn't want to use black because black is a bit too harsh. Um, I tried that when I was originally designing the cat gans and then decided against it. It was just too harsh. I like to keep the black for the eyes so that they stand out um, and try not to use it too much in the rest of the pattern. Okay, so after you do your one black, you're going to go back to yellow for three more. So since we're next door, pull your yarn to the back, hook from back to front, pull through, tighten your black, chain two with your yellow, and then do three double crochets. Okay, go ahead and finish with the yellow squares, um, and then we'll go ahead and finish doing one more color change at the very end of row 16, which is going to be with purple yarn. Okay, so we've done three yellow squares, so let's go ahead and grab our purple bobbin. Okay, give yourself a length here, leave a tail. Go ahead and go from back to front to connect. Make a loop over your hook, pull through to the back, tighten your yellow, drop your tail, chain two with your working yarn, and three double crochets around the tail. And then we'll fasten the rest in later. Okay, so that finishes row 16. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and start row 17. Row 17 starts with one purple, then switches to yellow. So let's go ahead and do our chain five with the purple. Three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay. And then... Let's go ahead and get ready to flip. So make sure you pin your bobbins. Make sure they stay in order so that they don't get connect, they don't get intertwined rather. Okay. See, now we're really starting to get lots of them. <laughs> and one more. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get ready to flip. So you need to swirl your work and flip it, okay? All right, not an exact science, but we've got it pretty much down to an art here, I think. All right, go ahead and take your bobbins off to get them out of the way of the row that you're working on. That way you can see what you're doing. Okay, pull your tails down towards the bottom of your work so they also stay out of the way. So we need to switch now. So we're doing row 17. You're going to go ahead and do four yellow squares, okay? So go ahead and get your yellow yarn. Hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tighten that purple so it stays nice and secure. Two chain and three double crochets, okay? And then go ahead and do the rest of those yellows, you need to do a total of four yellow squares, okay? And then we'll do some more color changes. Okay, so we are done with the black yarn. Um, we will need to reconnect it in this row because we are going to use it for the nose, but I don't want to carry it forward because I don't want a black line through my eye here. So let's go ahead and grab the white. Okay, we're going to do white here for a total of one square and then we're going to go ahead and switch to the black okay so go ahead and back to front pull through that white yarn tighten your yellow chain two and three double crochets in that same space okay so there's our white square now we need to go ahead and get the black so that we can use it for the nose okay so grab your black again get yourself a tail so again, if you had carried that black, you would see a black line right here, okay, on the eye. And that's what I'm avoiding by going ahead and tying in a couple more loose ends here at the end. Um, I want to keep the eye nice and white. So let's go ahead and pull that black through. We will go ahead and tighten the white, drop our black tail, okay, chain two, three double crochets. 
So we're going to do black for two squares, but we want to go ahead and carry our yellow yarn because we're going to need it right after. So what you can do is you can lay, you can lay the yellow yarn up and over that ladder, right? Up and over that step. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do another row with another square, excuse me, with black. So we're going in from the front of the work to the back. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, now go ahead and do your chain two. Three double crochets around that yellow yarn tail, okay? Or the working yellow yarn uh, is more accurate. Okay. That gives us the point of the nose. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave the black behind. We need to grab the yellow yarn that we've been carrying forward. Keep the yarn to the front of the work. Hook from back to front and pull through all stitches. Tighten that black. Make sure you keep the yellow yarn also nice and tight. Okay, do your chain two and three double crochets. And again, you do see just a little bit. You can see the carrying of the yarn just a little bit. If you are not familiar with corner to corner, you might, you probably wouldn't even notice that. And that's up to you. You don't have to carry it. You can snip it off, and you can go ahead and um, just create, you know, add in the yellow again. That's up to you. Um, I am going to go ahead and keep it as it is. I don't think it's enough of a noticeable uh, thing to be worried about it. So we've gone ahead and done one yellow square here. We need to do a total of six of those. So go ahead and finish off doing six yellow squares. I'll meet you at the end of those. Okay, so we finished our six yellow squares here. We're gonna switch over and use this raw sienna color. So go ahead and pick up your raw sienna that is next door. So pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through. Tighten that yellow yarn, chain two and three double crochets with the raw sienna. Okay, here we go. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and do a yellow. So pick up your yellow also next door. You want to go ahead and Pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tighten your raw sienna, chain two with your yellow, and three double crochets. Okay. And then we have one more square for row 17, and that is purple. Okay, so we need to snip off the other bobbin of raw sienna for now. Go ahead and grab a purple bobbin. Give yourself a tail. Now go ahead and put your hook from back to front. Put your yarn on your hook and pull through. Tighten the yellow. And we're just doing one purple square here to finish off this row, row 17. Okay. Perfect. All right, so row 17 is complete. Next up is row 18. We're going to start with three yellow squares. So go ahead and cut off your purple yarn. It was only used for one square here. Okay, we're going to need this yellow from behind. Remember, what we can do is go ahead and jump it up the ladder here. We're going to go ahead and crochet around it to try to hide it later. Okay, so since we're switching the yellow, go ahead and pull out one loop from the last yarn over and pull through of that double crochet of the purple. We're going to go ahead and use the yellow for that to connect. Okay, go ahead and do your chain two, or excuse me, go ahead and do your five chains. Okay, three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook, getting you your first square of the row. Then go ahead and pin your bobbins and get ready to flip. Okay, all my bobbins are pinned. We're flipping the work now, pulling the tails down. Unpin your bobbins. Okay. All right, so we've got our square here with the yellow. We're going to keep going with the yellow, but we need to hide this long 
uh, length of yarn here that doesn't look very nice, okay? So go ahead and pull it up onto the top of that purple square. Go in from the front to the back and connect with a slip stitch, chain two, three double crochets around that, that jump that you did to go ahead and secure it inside. Okay, there we go. So now it's less noticeable. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go and do one more yellow square. So do your slip stitch, chain two, and three double crochets. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to the raw sienna. The raw sienna is right next door. So we're gonna drop our yellow, pick up our raw sienna, go ahead and swirl the, the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow. Chain two with your raw sienna and then do three double crochets. Oops. All right. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to the yellow here. You're only doing the raw sienna for one, so go ahead and drop that off. You've got your yellow right next door, pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tightening your raw sienna. Chain two and three double crochets in that same space. Okay, and we're gonna continue up the Pomeranian with using that yellow ochre color. Okay, we need to do a total of six yellow squares, so do five more and I'll meet you back around the nose. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished the six yellows. Go ahead and drop your yellow. You're gonna pick up your black yarn. It's right next door, pull it to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow. Chain two, three double crochets. So he's working up the middle of his nose. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and switch to the yellow again. Okay, so we're done with the white for this eye. So go ahead and snip that one off. Set it aside for the other eye for later. Grab your yellow. Okay, we need to go down the, the ladder just a little bit. So we're just going to go ahead and lay it over the ladder and we will work around it to secure it without showing it too much, okay? So go ahead and do your chain two, three double crochets, and then we're going to go up to the next one and fasten that yellow jump in between our stitches. So go underneath that line, in through the wiggle space of the white and do your slip stitch to connect, chain two, three double crochets around that jump that we did. And then you're gonna go ahead and do a total of five yellow squares. So you should have three more yellow squares at this point. Go ahead and do those, I'll see you at the end of that. Okay, so we finished our five yellow squares. We need to switch to purple. Okay, so go ahead and do hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow in the back. Chain two, three double crochets, and finish off this row using purple. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we have finished row 18. We need to start row 19, which starts with two purple squares. So do your chain five, three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook, and then go ahead and prep your bobbin so that we can flip our work. Okay, go ahead and flip, pulling your yarn tails down so that way they're out of the way. Unpin your bobbins. Okay. Next we need to go ahead and connect. So we need to do another purple square. So go ahead and go in from the front to the back and pull through, chain two, and do three double crochets. After that we're going to go ahead and switch to yellow for six squares. So let's do the quick color change here. Okay, tighten the yellow, hook from back to front in the wiggle space, yarn over, pull through, chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and finish those yellows and we'll get back over to the nose area. Okay, I'll meet you back at the nose. <laughs> okay, so we've gone ahead and we've done our six yellow squares. We need to go ahead and switch back to the black. All right, so tighten your black. It's next door, go ahead and put the black to the back. 
hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tightening that yellow yarn behind you. Do the two chain and the three double crochets in that slip stitch space. This will finish off the Pomeranian's nose. Okay. All right, so go ahead and put it off to the side. You're going to grab your yellow. You need to go ahead and pull the yarn to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, pulling that black yarn tight, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, you need to do that and then finish doing a total of six yellow squares. Okay, I'll meet you back at the end of the six yellow squares. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this last square here. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to raw sienna. So drop your yellow. The raw sienna is next door, so go ahead and tighten it. Pull it to the back. Hook from back to front. Yarn over, pull through, tightening your yellow yarn. Chain two and three double crochets. Okay. Two and three. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and switch back to the yellow. So drop your raw sienna. Yellow's right next door, so pull the yarn to the back. Hook from back to front and pull through, tightening that raw sienna. Chain two, three double crochets, and finish off this row with the yellow yarn. I will go ahead and meet you back at the end for row 20, which is going to be the last increasing row before we begin decreasing our square. Okay? Okay, so row 20 starts with one purple square. So grab your purple yarn. You're not going to need much of it, so if you have a little bobbin, that's fine. It's just for this corner square here. So go ahead and pull out this last loop from the last double crochet, Okay, the second part of the double crochet. Go ahead and yarn over and pull through the last two loops to connect. Drop your tail, chain five. Three double crochets starting in the third chain from the hook. Okay, tighten that purple and your yellow again. Make sure you've pinned your work. We're getting ready to flip. Okay, flip it. Pull all the yarn tails to the bottom. Unfasten your bobbins. Okay, there we go. And again, you're not going to need that purple. Okay, so you can go ahead and snip it off. Just leave a tail so that you can sew it in later. Okay, so we are going to be switching to the yellow. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull the yellow up and over here. Okay, so go ahead and do your yarn to the back. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and then pull through to connect. Okay, chain two. Three double crochets. And then you're going to do a total of three yellow squares. So I will see you at the end of those yellow squares. Okay, so I've done three yellow squares. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the raw sienna. So it's next door, so pull it to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow. Chain two, three double crochets. Okay. Again, we're creating that shadow that goes behind the puff part of the Pomeranian. Okay. Next, we need to go ahead and switch back to yellow, which is next door. So pull it to the back. Give yourself a decent amount to work with here. Okay. Hook from back to front. Yarn over. Pull through. Tightening that raw sienna. Okay. Chain two. Three double crochets. You're going to do five yellows and we're going to start working on the next eye or the last eye rather of your Pomeranian. Okay, I'll see you at the end of the yellow. Okay, so that's five yellow squares. We need to switch to white. So grab your white bobbin. Give yourself a tail. Hook from back to front and pull your yarn through to the back. I did cut off that black yarn um, from the nose, so if you haven't already done that, go ahead and do that now. Chain two and three double crochets around that yellow yarn. 
or excuse me, three double crochets around the white tail. Okay, pull the tail to the back. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and switch back to yellow. So grab your yellow here. Hook from back to front on the black part of the nose. Okay, pull that white yarn tight, chain two, three double crochets, and finish doing the six yellow squares. I'll meet you at the end of that, and we'll switch to purple. Okay, so we've done our six yellow squares. We need to switch to purple. Drop your yellow, grab your purple, tighten it, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tightening your yellow in the back, two chain, three double crochets, and finish off this row, and I'll meet you at the corner where we're going to begin decreasing. Okay, so we've gotten to the end of row 20. We're going to start row 21, which you'll notice is the corner. You begin decreasing. Okay, so you need to start with two purple squares. You do not want to build up anymore, though. This is the total length here of your, or height, rather, of your square. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to do three chains. Now flip your work. Okay, and now what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect, okay? And that creates your corner, okay? So you're building back up the side as opposed to extending the length of it, okay? So the three chain acts as the end of that corner there. Now you do your chain two and your three double crochets, okay? So it makes sense when you think about it that you're doing three chains, right, to go building up back over the square and then another two to start the next square above it. So a total of five chains, which is what you would have done if you were extending the length, okay? So now it's just to build it back up. Now you just keep going as usual. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do only two purple squares, okay? And then we'll be switching back over to the yellow. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we have finished the first two purple squares on row 21. So now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the yellow and we're going to do that for six squares, okay? So let's go ahead and unpin the bobbins if you haven't already done so. That way they're out of the way when we get to them. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to go in from the back to the front, yarn over, pull through, and pull through that last one. Tighten your purple yarn. Go ahead and do your chain two and three double crochets to start. That'll get us that first yellow square. And then we want to go ahead and do another five more. Okay, so I'll meet you back at the end of the, the six yellow squares. Okay, so we finished six yellow squares. Next we need to go ahead and do a black square for the upper pupil on the second eye here. So grab a black bobbin. Give yourself a tail, okay? Coming in from the back to the front, grab that yarn, pull through the back and through the last of the yellow loops, pull the yellow tight, drop your tail from your black yarn, chain two, three double crochets, okay? And then what we're gonna do is switch over to the white. So that finishes the black. Okay, we're not going to need the black anymore, so you can go ahead and snip that one off. Okay, so we are right next door to the white, so we're going to pull the white to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through the loops, tighten that black, chain two, and three double crochets with the white. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and switch it back over to that yellow color. So drop your white, grab your yellow again, we're right next door, so bring your yellow to the back, hook from back to front, and then pull through, and then tighten your white, chain two, three double crochets. Continuing on with this yellow color, we're going to be doing this for five squares. I will meet you back at the end of the fifth square. Okay, so we've just finished the fifth of the yellow squares. We're going to go ahead and switch to the raw sienna color. So bring that to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through the loops, tightening your yellow. Chain two and three double crochets. 
We're only going to be using this color for this one square, so we're going to immediately switch back over to yellow after this one. Okay, next, grab your yellow. It's right next door. Pull it to the back. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and pull through, tightening that Rossian on the back, chain two and three double crochets, and you're going to finish off this row using yellow, so that should be a total of three squares, and then I will go ahead and meet you back at the end to do another decrease. Okay, so we've gone ahead and done three yellow squares. Now we're at the corner again, so we're going to be doing another decrease. So you want to go ahead and go in through that purple square in the corner, do your slip stitch to connect, chain three, and now you're gonna to need to flip your work. So pin your bobbins and get ready to flip. Okay, I've gone ahead and pinned my bobbins. I'm gonna go ahead and flip now. There we go. Okay, grab your loop there that you left after your chain three. Make sure it's nice and tight. You're gonna go in through, back in through that yellow square, the last one of the last row. Do a slip stitch to connect chain two and three double crochets uh, in that same slip stitch space and that's going to begin the following row okay so this is going to be row 22 we need to do three yellow squares so i will meet you back at the end of those okay we finished three yellow squares we need to switch back to raw sienna it's right next door so bring it to the back hook from back to front Yarn over and pull through, tightening your yellow. Chain two, three double crochets. Again, we're only gonna just do one square this time because this is that shadow that creates the front puff part of his uh, chest. So that's why this is here. Okay, now we're gonna switch back to yellow. Again, it's right next door. Spring it to the back, hook from back to front. Yarn over, pull through, and tighten that raw sienna. Chain two and then do your three double crochets. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and do yellow for five squares total, so do that and I will meet you back when we switch to the white. Okay, we've done our five yellow squares, so drop your yellow, grab your white, it's right next door, bring it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect, tightening your yellow behind chain two and three double crochets. This is the last of the white squares, which means after this, you can go ahead and cut off your white bobbin because you're not gonna be needing that color anymore. Okay, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, after the white, we're switching back to the yellow. So make sure all these are staying nice and tight. Hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through, tightening the white behind. Chain two, three double crochets. So go ahead and continue on with those. We're gonna have a total of seven yellow squares, so I will meet you at the end of those seven. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we finished seven yellow squares. We're gonna switch back to the purple color just for one. So we're right next door, bring it to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through, tightening your yellow chain two and three double crochets, and then we're gonna go ahead here and do another decrease. All right, so what we need to do is do a slip stitch in the, the one right next door. So slip stitch to connect, chain three. Okay, then go ahead and pin your bobbins, getting ready to flip. There shouldn't be as many bobbins as before because we're starting to get down to the end here where we're just gonna have a few different color changes. All right, so I'm ready to flip. Okay, unpin your bobbins. Go ahead and do your slip stitch to connect. Chain, oops, excuse me, there we go. Chain two, three double crochets using your purple. We're gonna do one more purple square after this. Okay, um, since the yellow is right next door and we need it to be further up the ladder here, we're gonna go ahead and put it over that step and we're gonna go ahead and crochet around it. So do your chain two and your three double crochets, fastening that 
yellow yarn in between the stitches and we're going to use it here in just a moment. Okay, you want to keep it nice and tight so that way you don't see that strand right there. Drop your purple. Hook, uh, go ahead and put your yarn towards the front. Hook from back to front and pull through, tightening your purple. Make sure that's nice and tight so you don't see the change here of the color. You want to make sure you're not seeing that line of yellow that you carried back. Um, now go ahead and do your chain two, your three double crochets. All right, and we're going to go ahead and do 11 uh, squares here of the yellow. And so what you're going to need to do is you'll notice because we had made the eye, we have another bobbin of yellow. So you can cut off that second bobbin, or if you're running low on this first one, carry this up until the eye, cut this one off and, and change it out for this one, whichever way you prefer, but you only need one yellow bobbin for this row. So uh, if at least for this part, so let's go ahead and make that decision um, and continue on making your 11 yellow squares. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished 11 yellow squares. Next, we need to switch to your raw sienna color. So go ahead and hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening the yellow yarn behind. Chain two and three double crochets. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to yellow. If you enjoy working with me, alongside me, on these corner-to-corner -corner graph gans, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, send a like my way, and maybe comment. Let me know what other graph gans you'd like to see, and I will make sure I keep those in mind, and we'll see what we end up working with next. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go hook from back to front, switching over to that yellow. Okay, and we're going to finish out this row doing three yellow squares. I will meet you at the end. Okay, we've reached the end. We're going to slip stitch to connect, chain three. Okay, get ready to flip. So pin your bobbins. Okay. Let's flip our work. Unpin the bobbins. And now we need to go ahead and connect here to the last row. So we'll do our slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets. Then this row, we're on row 24. This row is going to start off using three yellow squares. So go ahead and do those three yellow squares, and I will meet you for the color change. Okay, so we've done three yellow squares. Our raw sienna color is here next door. So go ahead and pull that to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect, tightening that yellow behind. Chain two, three double crochets. Sometimes my yarn is not working with me. All right, there we go. Let's try that again. At least with crochet, if you drop a stitch, it's pretty easy to just continue on. I've done some knitting and it's a mess when you drop stitches. <laughs> All right, let's change back to yellow. Go ahead and pull the yellow to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect, tightening that raw sienna in the back. Chain two, three double crochets. All right, we're gonna go ahead here. It looks like we're doing 10 yellow squares. So I will meet you back at the end of those 10 yellows. Okay, so we've done 10 yellow squares and I just finished off my yellow bobbin, so I will need to make another one here in a minute. Um, but let's go ahead and switch over to the purple. Okay, so hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow yarn in the back, chain two, and we're gonna finish off this row doing two purple squares, and then we'll go ahead and do another decrease. Okay, we've done our two purple, so slip stitch to connect, chain three, Okay, pin your bobbins. Okay, and we're gonna flip our work. There we go. So again, slip stitch to connect, chain two, and three double crochets in the purple. We're starting row 25, so we need two purple squares. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made a new bobbin since I ran out of my yellow here. So I'm gonna go in from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tightening that purple yarn, drop my tail, chain two. 
And I'm going to do my three double crochets around the tail since it's a new yarn, um, since it's a new bobbin. But you may not have that issue, so don't worry about it if it's not there. Okay, I'm tucking my tail to the back and I'll continue on doing yellow. We are again on row 25, so we need to do nine yellow squares. I will meet you back at the end of those nine. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done nine yellow squares. Now we are going to go ahead and switch back to the raw sienna color. This time though, we're actually going to do three squares using the raw sienna. So go ahead and do your color change, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through chain two and do your three double crochets and then go ahead and continue on with this raw sienna using it for another two more squares and I am going to uh, just let you know I'm going to carry this yellow up and over since it only needs to go up one stitch so go let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just do that together I just noticed that that was there Again, this isn't an exact science when we work on this together. Um, we have to troubleshoot together sometimes, and that's cool with me if it's cool with you. All right, let's go ahead and wrap that, that yellow yarn up and over the step. Go ahead and continue on for this third square, doing a chain two and a three double crochet around that yellow. Okay, and then we'll pull it tight once we get there to the end of this square. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it. Dropping the, the raw sienna, we've got our yellow. Okay, bring it forward to the front of your work. Hook from back to front. Yarn over and pull through, tightening your raw sienna. And also just give it a little tug to tighten that yellow too. You don't want to have any jumping uh, stitch sections here. You want to try to hide it as best as you can. And that way we save ourselves doing some extra uh, tying in of loose ends. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to do one yellow square. That's it. Okay, so we did our chain two, three double crochets to finish off this row. And then let's go ahead and do a decrease. So we do our slip stitch to connect it to the last row, chain three to build back up and not increase, right? We want to keep it decreasing. Pin your bobbins because we're going to be flipping here in a minute. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and flip our work. Okay. Tighten your yarn so it's nice and snug on your hook. All right, so we need to connect, but what we need to do is look at the next row, and if you'll notice, it starts with raw sienna. Okay, so rather than doing the slip stitch with the yellow, we need to do our color change now. Okay, so make sure your bobbins are unpinned. Okay, go from back to front, yarn over with your raw sienna and pull through and then pull through that three chain that you just did. Okay, and that's going to connect so that you're using your raw sienna, you're not using your yellow. We're going to go ahead and chain two with the raw sienna and do three double crochets. Okay, you can go ahead and cut off that strand here of the yellow because whenever we need it next, we're going to reconnect it. We're not going to jump it. Okay, so go ahead and cut that one off. And on this row, we're just doing one of the raw sienna. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch over using the yellow yarn, but we are going to need raw sienna again. Um, so it, it, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this raw sienna attached. We're going to grab back that yellow bobbin we just used, okay, that we cut off. We're going to put our hook in from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tightening the raw sienna, drop your tail, chain two and three double crochets. And then we want to go ahead and do one more yellow square after this one but you want to drop your tail to the back because you don't need it anymore. Okay, do your next square, and then we need to get raw sienna again. Okay, at this point what we're doing is we're going to start building up that little curled tail that Pomeranians have. So we need another bobbin that has raw sienna on it. I'm going to grab mine here. I made two at the very beginning because I knew I would need to do it around this point. 
All right, so go ahead and hook from back to front, grab your new raw sienna bobbin and pull through, tightening your yellow, drop your tail, chain two, three double crochets around that tail. Okay, and we are only doing this with one square. Now we're gonna be switching back. So drop your tail behind, grab your yellow yarn, which is right next door, pulling it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect the yellow. Do your chain two, do your three double crochets. Okay, and then you wanna go ahead, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do the next set of yellows, which is eight. You need eight yellow squares, and then I'll help you uh, switch the color to purple after that. Okay, I'm just finishing up on my eighth yellow square. So next we need to switch over to the purple, and we're gonna do purple for two squares, and then we'll do another decrease. So go ahead and grab your purple yarn, Hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through, tightening your yellow. Chain two, three double crochets, and then do one more square. And I wanted to also say, um, I, I make amigurumis as well, and if that is a type of video that you are here to see as well, I would love to just know that in the comments below. I'm really curious to see you know, what sort of videos you're enjoying on this channel, and that way I can get more of them made for you. All right, let's go ahead and slip stitch to connect. Chain three. Get ready to flip by pinning your bobbins. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and flip my work. All right, let's go ahead and unpin the bobbins. And give yourself a tail here or some slack to work from. Keep all your tails of your yarn pulled down. That way you're not getting confused with which threads you need, okay? You want to keep them away from what you're working on. All right, so we are now on row 27. We need to start with two purple squares. So we're gonna go ahead and do our slip stitch with the purple, chain two, three double crochets, and then do one more purple square. Okay, I've done two purple squares. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the yellow. We need to do seven yellow squares. Since we're right next door, we'll pull the yellow to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening the purple behind chain two and three double crochets to get started and then you want to go ahead and do another six more yellow squares. There should be a total of seven. Okay, I'm just finishing up that seventh yellow square. So I switched back over to the raw sienna doing the hook from back to front. All right, well now we're doing the chain two and three double crochets. Okay, and next we're gonna go ahead and switch back to the yellow. Make sure your bobbins stay out of the way. Grab your yellow, hook from back to front, yarn over, pull through, tightening that raw sienna behind, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, and you wanna go ahead and continue using the yellow. We are gonna just finish this row in yellow. So you'll have one raw sienna at the end that you'll go ahead and cut off and leave a long enough tail to sew in later. Okay, so we finished the third yellow square. We need to go ahead and connect it to that last raw sienna there with the slip stitch. Chain three with the yellow. Flip your work. We are going to start on row 28 now. Um, now row 28 also starts with raw sienna. So what that means is that we need to grab our raw sienna bobbin that we cut off on the last row. Okay, so when we do our connecting stitch to build up and do our decrease here, we need to go ahead and grab the raw sienna. So we're going from back to front, grab your raw sienna, pull that through and go ahead and connect it to that three chain there. Drop your tail, do your chain two, and three double crochets around that tail so that way you're trapping it in there and then you'll sew that in later 
one more and to so sew in. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're just doing that for one square. Now we need to switch over to the yellow. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off this last one. You can go back and carry it forward if you want. That would be fine too. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just attach a new one. So I'm going in from back to front and pulling through, tightening my raw sienna, dropping my tail, doing our chain two and three double crochets. It's getting close to these other bobbins, so I'm going to pull those away. That way I don't get confused. Okay, three double crochets. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more yellow square after this. Okay, so that's two yellow squares. Now I need to go ahead and do a purple square, okay? So if you notice, I'm going to bring this pattern up here again. Okay, the part that we're doing right now is right here, okay? So if you notice, we're ending his back right there. So that's why we're adding that purple in, okay? So that means that you're going to grab a new bobbin of purple. Hook from back to front on that raw sienna one. Grab your purple, pull it through to the back and through the yellow, tightening the yellow behind, drop your purple tail, chain two, three double crochets, and you're only going to do one purple right now. Okay, so after that, you're going to grab your yellow. So let's pull the purple tail to the back. Grab your yellow, which is right next door, so bring that to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. Tightening the purple yarn behind. Chain two, three double crochets in that same slip stitch space. And then you're going to want to go ahead and do a total of six yellow squares, okay? So I will meet you back at the end of the six. Okay, so I finished six yellow squares. I need to switch back over to purple. So grab your purple yarn up here, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening the yellow, chain two, three double crochets, and go ahead and finish off this row doing a total of two purple squares. Okay, so we've done the two purple squares. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect. Chain three, pin your bobbins, flip your work, Okay, unpin your bobbins. Okay, we need to go ahead and connect to the last purple square from the last row. We're going to go ahead and do two purple squares, so do our slip stitch to connect, chain two, three double crochets, and then do one more purple square. Okay, so we've done two purple squares. We need to switch over to the yellow. So go ahead and pull the yellow to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that purple behind, chain two, three double crochets. And you want to go ahead and do a total of five yellow squares. I will meet you at the end of those five. Okay, so I've done five yellow squares. I'm going to put our yellow yarn here to the back. We need to grab the purple yarn next. I go ahead and do the hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow tail in the back, chain two, three double crochets, and you want to do two purple squares, okay? So I will meet you at the end of the second one. Okay, so after the second purple square, drop your purple yarn, grab your yellow right next door, pull it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that purple, chain two, three double crochets, and you're only doing one yellow square, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and switch back over to the raw sienna and just do one raw sienna and that will finish off this row so we can do our decrease. So let's go ahead and drop our yellow, grab your raw sienna. Oops, make sure you're not grabbing the tail. You're grabbing the working yarn. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through to connect, tightening the yellow behind. Excuse me, go ahead and do chain two, three double crochets, and then we'll go ahead and do our decrease. 
All right, so we're at our decrease. Let's do a slip stitch to connect, chain three to build up, pin your bobbins, and we will go ahead and flip. Okay, flip, pull your tails down, pull away your bobbins so they're out of your way. So next we're on row 30. We want to go ahead and do two yellow squares. So since we're switching the color right at the beginning, we're going to go ahead and connect our chain three doing the hook from back to front, yarn over with the yellow and pull through, tightening your Rossiana behind, chain two with your yellow, three double crochets, and then you need to do one more yellow square. So let's just go ahead and do that together. Okay, go up to the next one, slip stitch, chain two, and three double crochets. Okay. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and we are going to switch over now. We're going to do three purple squares to so drop your yellow, grab your purple. Purple's next door, put it to the back. Hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, tightening that yellow behind. Chain two and three double crochets, and then go ahead and do those three purple squares. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that because the third purple square is uh, going to be past the yellow yarn that we need, I'm going to go ahead and bring it up the step with me, and then I'll go ahead and work around it. So on this last purple square, you're going to work around the yarn of the yellow. So you're fastening it in. You want to pull the yellow tight enough so that you don't see it. Drop your purple. Grab your yellow. Bring it to the front of your work. Hook from back to front. Yarn over. Pull through, tightening your purple, and then just wiggle it so that that yellow stays nice and tight. You don't want to see the jump as much as you can. Okay. Go ahead and do your chain two three double crochets and then you want to go ahead and continue using the yellow for a total of three squares. I will meet you at the end of that. Okay, there's the three yellow squares. Now we need to switch over to the purple. Go ahead and do hook from back to front, yarning over and pulling through, tightening that yellow. Chain two, three double crochets and then go ahead and finish off this row doing two purple squares. Okay, that's the end of this row. We need to go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect, chain three, pin the bobbins, flip your work, unpin your bobbins, okay, pulling your tails down. Now you want to look at your next row. Next row is the last of the color changing rows, guys. Yay! Then we're going to just do purple all the way to the end. So let's go ahead and we need one purple square. So slip stitch to connect with the purple, chain two, three double crochets, okay. Does anyone have a Pomeranian? If you do, comment below. Post a picture too if you can. That would be awesome. I love Pomeranians. They're so cute. <laughs> All right, next one yellow, hook from back to front, yarn over, and pull through. Just like these giant puff balls. I thought about putting a collar on this one, but they're literally just puff. There's, I don't even know what a Pomeranian with a collar would look like, so I didn't put it in. All right, so there's our yellow square. Tuck that to the back. We need purple now, okay? So let's grab it from over here. We will bring it up the ladder. Hook from back to front, yarning over, pulling through, tightening that yellow. You want it to be fairly tight, not so tight that it's bunching, but tight enough to where when you're going around it, it will loosen a little bit. So just snug enough, right? Okay, chain two, three double crochets. You want to do a total of six purple squares working around that yarn that you just jumped. Okay, you want to try to hide it as best as you can in between the stitches so we don't have to see it. But we also don't have an extra tail to tie in since none of us like doing that. If you guys have, uh, I just want to chat with you. So <laughs> if you guys have uh, somebody that ties in your loose ends, comment uh, that below. I would love to hear. I've, I've had some pretty funny... Um, 
uh, people telling me pretty funny things as to how they get their ends tied in, whether it's paying their kids to do it or, or like me, I have my mom <laughs> who loves to do it. She watches her shows and she ties in my loose ends and I could not be happier <laughs> to have her do that. Okay, so I'm finishing up our last purple square here, the sixth one. You need to grab your yellow here. We're going to pull it to the back, hook from back to front, yarn over and pull through, chain two, three double crochets. Whoopsies, I brought my purple forward. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to go ahead and this is the last of the color changes, which means we just need purple from here on out. So let's go ahead and do our slip stitch to connect with the yellow. Okay, you need to do your three chain in the yellow. You're going to pin your bobbin. You're only going to need this one purple though, okay? So you can go ahead and cut off the other two, so the yellow and the purple. Take those out. Don't need them. Flip your work. And now we need to switch over back to purple, okay? So grab your purple hook from back to front. Yarn over, pull through to connect, tightening your yellow yarn. And chain two with the purple. Three double crochets. And then you're just going to go back and forth, guys. You're going to decrease on either side when you get there. Okay. I think by now you probably know exactly what you're doing with the decreasing. So I'm going to go ahead and let you finish off the square. You can cut your yellow yarn away. All you need is your purple. Finish off this corner, and I will meet you at the end, and we're going to go ahead and do the bordering single crochets. Okay, so we're here at the end. We're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to connect. And then again, you want to have that corner to be complete. So you do your chain three, flip it one more time, and do a slip stitch to connect. And that gives you that nice corner. And we're already facing the same direction here as our pattern. So you'll see the pictures match. Okay, so you know you're on the right side and you want to go ahead and start working on your single crochet border. So each corner has three single crochets total, but you want to work on them on either side. So two on one side and one on another. So on this side, which it for me is the shorter side, you go ahead and do a single crochet in that corner. Then you want to go ahead and go on the in-between space and do a single crochet. You don't want these to be too tight. You don't want your work puckering. So you're going to do a single crochet in every in-between space and a single crochet in every square space. And I'll go ahead and have you do that into the other corner and then we'll do the corner together. Okay, so once you've reached your corner, we're going to go ahead and do two single crochets, flip, do a one single crochet along the side of the square. That gives us three total single crochets in the corner. Then continue on into the in-between space and then along the side of the square and then in the in-between space and then along the side of the square. And then we are gonna, we're coming up here on a color change. Now you can continue on doing the purple all the way around if you want or whatever color you used as the background color. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and match up the single crochet out uh, border here with the colors that I have. So right before the color here is changed, which is that in-between square space, you're going to go in, pull one loop forward. Okay, so now you should have two loops on your hook. Grab a yellow bobbin. Give yourself a tail. And then go ahead and pull through. That's connecting the new color. You will go ahead and pull the purple tight. Cut off a length here. So you'll, you'll pick it back up again later, but we're not going to carry it through. Okay, so let's make sure you're using your working yarn. You can do your single crochets around that tail a few times in order to secure it. So I'm going along the side now on the in-between space on the side of the square, then on the in-between space. All 
All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep going until I reach where we need to switch back to purple, okay? And at some point, just pull that tail to the back. You don't really need to do more than a few stitches around it. That just starts securing it so that you can tie it in later. Okay, here we are again. Our next side, the next square is gonna be purple. So in the in-between the two different colors space, that's where you're gonna to wanna to do your color change. So start with your yellow, going into the back, pulling forward a loop. Then you need to go ahead and grab your purple yarn. Okay, leave a tail and then pull through that last, pull that through all of the loops and now drop your tail from the purple yarn and continue on using the purple. You can go ahead and snip off the yellow because we'll go ahead and bring it in again later on when we get to the dog's feet. The Pomeranian's feet are coming up, but we're not quite there yet. And if you're finding that your stitches are tight and it's starting to pucker, you can always do two single crochets along the um, side of each square and then one in between. Whatever you need to do in order to um, see yourself without having the puckering. Um, and then you'll want to make sure too that you are consistent. So if you do do two along the side of each square, just be consistent with the rest of your squares that you make for the graph scan. Um, because when we're stitching them together, you want there to be about the same number of single crochets along the, the outside edges of each of the squares. That way it just makes it easier to connect them together later. Okay, so we're here at the corner again. I'm gonna go ahead and do two single crochets on one side, flip my work around here. I'm gonna do one more single crochet along the other side of that square, now in the in-between space, and along the side of the square, and then in the in-between space again. Okay, here I am again in another color change. So go ahead and do the first loop brought forward from the purple. Now we need the yellow again, so if it's still connected, disconnect it by cutting it off. Grab it again. Grab your yellow yarn and then pull that through all the loops. Drop your yellow tail and continue on with the yellow. Now, if you want to, you can carry the purple on, so that way it's here when you need it, or you can cut it off and then just keep attaching it again. Depends on how many tails you want to sew in. I understand if you want to carry it forward. I would probably do that too. I'm going to go ahead though and just keep cutting them off. I think it looks a little cleaner, but it's not really necessary, so up to you. Okay, go ahead and in between the colors again, pull through the first loop as the same as the one next to it. So we've got two yellow loops. We're gonna switch to purple. So I need to go ahead and grab my purple yarn and pull that through, tightening the yellow in behind. Drop my tail and continue on with the purple. Doing one on the side, one in between, one on the side, one in between. Okay, so go ahead and continue on doing the same type of color changes if that's how you're doing yours. And work all the way around until you get back to where you began doing your single crochet border. Okay, so we've reached the corner again. And remember, we started this with one single crochet. So since it's the corner, we wanna do two more single crochets. And then all you need to do is find that first single crochet and slip stitch into that to connect. Pull your yarn so you have a loop. Cut it off from your bobbin. And then put your tail through the loop and pull tight. So that way it's fastened off. So tie in all those ends and we'll see what it looks like at the end of that.